I guess by 2022, at least in the EU anyway, they wanted to make it so all new cars have to have technology in them that will use the GPS to figure out what the speed limit is and limit the car's speed to that speed limit. And if you try to override that for too long, it'll call the police. Oh, that's just lovely. Doesn't that just sound like something you'd want in your car? Not something I'd want. Of course, this is in addition to how companies are wanting to put cameras in the cars, pointing at the driver and possibly the passenger, that will sense whether or not the, the driver is too distracted and it will stop the car. I can just see that. Accidents happening because suddenly some car has stopped in front of them and they didn't, you know, unexpectedly. And yeah, I can just see that. that that'll go over really well. I don't know. I just, I don't like the idea of there being a camera in the car possibly spying on you. And if, and if they're putting that kind of technology in the car like that, I mean, what's to stop them from next putting technology in the car that can spy on you? And if it sees activity it doesn't like, oh, let's notify the police. I don't know. I just don't like where this is going. If they want to ensure that people don't buy new cars, I mean, probably in 2022, they'll there'll be a major decrease in people buying new cars. And they'll go, oh, what's wrong? Well, we don't want cars that spy on us. I'm wondering if at some point in the future they're going to disallow people to drive older cars on the road. You know, no more classic cars. I don't know. It just, I don't like the, the direction this is going. I mean, new cars, I mean, they cost as, as much as houses do in, in some parts of the U.S. You know, shit. When I was in Shemokin, there were some houses that cost under 10000 You know, of course, that's Shemokin, but, but still, I mean, the fact that you can get a house for less than the price of some of these new cars, you know, anyway, 